As the twilight of the 19th century cast long shadows over the era of exploration, the icy realm of the Arctic remained an enigmatic frontier, an elusive horizon that beckoned the daring. The world watched as valiant explorers from Europe and North America etched trails across the icy wilderness, their names whispered through the annals of time. Yet, nestled in the heart of Scandinavia, the nation of Sweden yearned for a place amongst the stars of polar exploration. Amidst this fervent epoch of visionary emerged Solomon August Andre, a Sweden born amidst the dance of northern lights, and he bore dreams not of traversing the icy wastes on sleds, but of soaring through the skies, carried by the winds of destiny. An engineer by trade, but an explorer by heart, Andre's heart fluttered to the rhythm of adventure, his mind enraptured by the mysteries veiled beyond the icy horizon. The aspirations of a nation converged upon Andre's bold vision as he conjured an audacious plan, a voyage into the unknown aboard a vessel not bound to the earth, but to the whims of the skies, a hydrogen balloon, the eagle, a vessel destined to bear Sweden's hopes across the icy wilderness. The sands of time trickled steadily as Andre and his companions, Nils Strindberg and Kurt Frankel, delved into the meticulous orchestration of their voyage. With each passing day, the horizon beckoned with a blend of mystery and promise as Andre and his companions stood on the cusp of etching their names into the fabric of history. As the first light of July 11th, 1897, kissed the cold, crisp air of Svalbard. The day of reckoning had arrived for Solomon August Andre, Neil Strindberg, and Nut Frankel. The skies seemed to beckon as their vessel, resembling a slivery globe, stood tall amongst the icy wilderness, ready to kiss the heavens. The world seemed to hold its breath as the trio commenced the first preparations. The meticulously planned endeavor was now at the mercy of the whimsical Arctic winds. The crisp, cold air carried the vessel higher and higher as the trio gazed down upon the shrinking silhouette of their homeland, and their hearts filled with a blend of excitement and trepidation. The horizon extended infinitely, shrouding the mysteries that awaited as the eagles soared towards the heavens. The jubilation of ascent soon met the harsh reality of nature's whims. The skies, once welcoming, now harbored a foreshadowing of despair as the meticulous calculations of a man yielded to the indomitable forces of nature. The eagle, once soaring, began to falter as the treacherous Arctic winds played havoc with its course. The hydrogen that once buoyed their dreams ebbed away steadily. As the balloon descended, ominously, the icy wilderness below seemed to claw at the skies, eager to reclaim the audacious intruder. The eagle kissed the frozen earth. Its lofty ambitions, now a distant echo amidst the eerie silence of the Arctic. The trio emerged from the wreckage, their faces etched with the grim acknowledgement of the grim reality that lay ahead. Their silhouettes, mere specks against the colossal canvas of ice and snow. The balloon, once a symbol of hope and adventure, lay deflated as they scavenged through the remains, salvaging what little they could. The stark realization dawned. The journey back to civilization was a daunting trek across an unforgiving desert of ice. As the trio embarked on the perilous trek across the icy void, each step was a defiance against the cruel, unforgiving Arctic. The silence of the frozen realm was only broken by the crunch of snow under their boots and the ghostly whispers of the icy winds. The barren landscape stretched endlessly, white canvas printed with the hues of desolation and challenge. Days morphed into nights, each sunrise a beacon of hope, each sunset an echo 
of survival. The haunting vastness of the icy wilderness bore heavily upon Andre, Strindberg, and Franklin. With each day, the looming dread of uncertainty gnawed at their resolve, yet the flames of hope continued to flicker amidst the cold shadows. The fleeting encounters with the fleeting Arctic wildlife were moments of surreal confrontation between the realms of man and nature. The duo shared fleeting glances of marvel and trepidation as polar bears roamed in the distance, their silhouettes and ghostly figures against the white abyss. The formidable ice seemed to challenge their every move, its crevices threatening to engulf them, its icy surfaces a slippery slope towards oblivion. Yet, with unyielding resolve, they pressed on, the vision of safety a distant glimmer amidst the snowy wilderness. The nightly huddles around the meagre warmth of their makeshift camp were moments of reflection, hope, and the unwavering resolve to overcome. As the trio trudged through the snow, the world beyond the icy realms could only speculate and pray. The passage of time cast a veil of silence over the tale of Andre and his companions. As years turned to decades, the fervent whispers of their audacious voyage faded into the annals of forgotten tales. The world moved on, but the icy realms of the Arctic held tight the secrets of the courageous trio. That, of course, was until August of 1930, when destiny beckoned a new group, a group of Norwegian hunters to the desolate shores of Svalbard. As fate would have it, among the shards of ice and fragments of the past, they stumbled upon relics bearing the echo of Andre's ill-fated expedition, a boat engraved with the inscription Andre's Polar Expedition, 1896, emerged from the icy abyss as a ghostly reminder of the bygone era of courage and adventure. The world held its breath once more, the chilling discovery unraveled the forgotten pages of history. The specter of Andre's ambitious journey resurfaced as a tale of valor, ingenuity, and the indomitable spirit of exploration. As the relics, journals, and skeletal remains unveiled the harrowing saga, a collective gasp of admiration and sorrow reverberated through the hearts of those who beheld the tale. The meticulous records, photographs, and artifacts bore silent testimony to the grim reality and the indomitable spirits that characterized their perilous journey. The unveiling of the relics from Andre's Arctic expedition transcended mere historical discovery. It peeled back layers of human endeavor, exposing a tapestry of courage, ambition, and the timeless allure of the unknown. As scholars and enthusiasts poured over the remains of the expedition, each page turned and each image scrutinized brought to life the stark reality of the Arctic wilderness and the stoic resolve of the explorers. The narrative of the expedition found its place in the annals of history nestled amidst tales of daring and discovery that define the human spirit. As the world delved into the mysteries of the universe, the legacy of Andre's Arctic balloon expedition served as a solemn reminder of the boundless horizons that await, the mysteries that beckon, and the immortal spirit of adventure that dwells within the heart of mankind. As the world pivots on the axis of discovery, advancing into uncharted realms, the tale of Andre's expedition serves as a solemn yet inspiring compass. It beckons the curious hearts towards the horizons of unknown, urging the souls to venture beyond the familiar, to challenge the unknown, and to embrace the mysteries that cloak our existence. In the quiet solitude of the Arctic, where the whispers of the past meld with the echoes of the present, the spirits of Andre, Strindberg, and Frankel stand as silent guardians of the unyielding spirits of exploration. As we delve into the mysteries of our world and beyond, the legacy of Andre's Arctic balloon expedition serves as a humble reminder to the boundless potential that resides within the spirit of exploration, urging us to look beyond the horizon, to seek, to discover, and to venture into the heart of the unknown with unwavering resolve and an unyielding spirit of curiosity.